Hey guys, this is Frisky. Uh, it is uh, December 31st, so happy almost uh, New Year's. Anyways, uh, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up a uh, dynamically changing uh, IP address. Uh, and um, mainly this is used for uh, servers. Uh, in this case, I'm using it to host a Minecraft server off of a computer I have from my house. Um, and uh, I'm going to show you how to uh, be able to um, take your IP ad address that changes frequently uh, because uh, your I IP uh, or your uh, ISP decides to send you guys a new IP just because they're refreshing IPs or you restart your router or uh, you restart your modem any of those uh, combinations of things will get you a new IP and uh, the problem with hosting a server on your house uh, is that you have to give people that IP every single time it changes in order con to connect so there are a few ways to get around this and to add a uh, free uh, domain to it um, first is a dynamic DNS service on your router now uh, that's right here um, if your router uh, like the WRT 54G which is what I used to have but I don't use anymore because it's not working very well uh, a lot of older routers and some newer routers support um, DDWRT tomato uh, and tomato I can't speak for any other ones but it's custom router uh, firmware and uh, if you do choose to do that it's got a lot of other cool features and stuff but um, if you have a router that supports those um, then you can uh, configure those directly to update your IP to this site that I'm about to show you um, if you don't have a router that supports that uh, there's another solution which is free DNS update. Uh, now what this does is it runs in the background on uh, a computer in your house uh, preferably one that's on all the time uh, I can't run it on my server because it's running a uh, flavor of Linux and it's a command line and there's no support for it because this is a Windows program I might play with it later um, but for now uh, I'm just gonna stick with this anyways what it does is it connects to your free DNS uh, account which is what I'm gonna have you set up in a minute uh, and it sends your current IP so if I can go check IP and it gives me my IP here and uh, if you're curious why I'm showing my IP it doesn't even matter if you wanted to you could find my IP in two seconds if you know what you're doing I don't care at all uh, I guess the difference is that you know where my server is and how to get to my server, but it's whitelisted, so it doesn't even matter. Um, anyways, I can hit update, uh, update now, and it says updating all dynamic domains, updating frisky.mc.moo.com. Uh, that's just what I happen to have it set to because it was the most simple. Um, and it says already up to date. So uh, that's all good. Settings, um, the username and password. This is where uh, we're gonna sign in. Um, but for now, what we need to do is um, create an account on FreeDNS. Uh, so you'll have to create an account here. Uh, I actually don't see the option here to log out. There we go. Uh, so you're going to go here, and you can go to the bottom here to sign up. Uh, first, last name, user ID, password, uh, email, uh, and uh, type in the uh, randomly generated code there. Uh, agree to the terms and conditions and get that activation email sent. Um, activation goes out instantly. Uh, let's see. Once you're done with that, you can go to the dynamic DNS section over here, sign into your account. And you can see I have one uh, right here. Now, what you need to do is you need to first add a uh, an A record. Like, a, you need to actually give yourself a um, a domain here to actually send this IP to. So then, when people enter this uh, domain, they know uh, FreeDNS knows where to point them to this IP or whatever up, uh, IP the program is updated uh, to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit this record and 
figure out how to delete it. I'll be right back. Oh, I had it right here. Okay, so we can delete the selected one. So if we go to subdomains, we're going to add a subdomain. And I'm going to find one, moo.com. Uh, now, if you're not using an external uh, um, domain name, in this case, I'm using frisky.net because I own it. Um, and my server is mc.frisky.net. Uh, this essentially acts as a, a pass through because um, FreeDNS won't let me uh, go straight to frisky.net because I obviously already own it. So they can't do anything with that. Um, but what I do is I just go straight to moo.com and if I go to frisky.mc, hopefully this will let me register it again. Just leave it as an A record. Uh, the destination, I'll uh, leave it at that. This will be your IP that they find from you now. Um, leave TTL as it is. Uh, wildcard is for subscribers only, so you can hit save. And now we've got it. Uh, uh Now we're going to do just go to dynamic DNS. Uh, and you will add a record, and it'll give you something like this. Um, let it go through. Okay, so now that we've got the um, the domain set up, what we can do is you can go and download free DNS. Uh, the link uh, for this and all links for everything in this tutorial will always be in the description. So go down there, download free DNS, and you can install that. Uh, open it up. Go to your settings tab. Put in your username and password. Uh, make sure you check minimize on start. Uh, so it runs in the background. Make sure you also put this in your startup folder. I'll show you how to do that, uh, I think, if I remember. <laughs> Anyways, you're going to hit, hit domain list. Um, uh, let's see. And it gives you your one domain. You can have multiple if you choose. Um, and it says your status. You can go to the status tab and uh, hit check IP and update now. And it'll update the IP. And uh, one way you can uh, check this is to run a Minecraft server um, from your IP, and then uh, uh, you can go back and check it, see if you can get into the server with your new domain. Now, uh, if you have a domain name like I do, uh, you can go into your cPanel or similar. I think uh, the majority of uh, web hosting services do use cPanel. Uh, you can go to domain section and go to the simple DNS zone editor. Uh, and if we go down here, uh, you can see that mc.frisky.net is set to a CNAME record to the address friskymc.moo.com. And you can just add that with that one right there. And once that's been added, you can uh, make sure you've got Minecraft running on the uh, correct port and um, can you go over here frisky server pulling mc.frisky.net uh, it will take a while to populate your uh, your connections here uh, and I actually don't have my server started at the moment but um, give it a little while it will populate and it will work eventually uh, just let it sit for at least 24 hours and you'll be able to do uh, direct connect to frizzkeymc.moo.com although my server's off so it's not going to do anything um, but once you get all that sorted out and you let it sit it will populate and you will be able to get into your server thank you guys uh, for watching um, if you liked it give it a thumbs up sorry it was so long and long winded I tend to do that and uh, I'm going to try and figure out how to not uh, do that anymore and I suppose me talking about it being long isn't helping so I will see you guys next time please subscribe if you liked it and I'll see y'all later